Hey, welcome back, YouTubers. I got tagged by a Gun Wild one to show my two favorite tactical knives. So I got two of them right here. This one I picked up at a uh, gun show, got a knife show years ago. Um, it's made by Colt. And it came with this uh, nylon sheath or whatever. I stuck this, um, it's not paracord, but it's just uh, black cord lanyard. And let's take a look at it. Now it says CT27, I don't know if that's the model number, I've never actually looked it up or anything. And it says 420J2 stainless, that's full tang, um, aluminum handles. I really like the uh, style of the blade, you could look at that there. A little bit of serrations. And just an overall it's a really nice knife uh, nice and thick heavy duty it's a you can get a good hand on hand on it it's got the uh, colt pony on it right there yeah it's just a overall it's just a nice uh, nice knife all right so now my second one now this is in my opinion would be an actual real tactical knife i know a lot of people have knives they call tactical but this one more than likely actually served in the war. I'm not sure if the First World War or Second World War. But it's a uh, bayonet, obviously. I, it's either Canadian or British. I'm not certain of that. I'm not an expert on bayonets. I just I just really like them. Got this when I was just a, a kid. My old man bought it for me and my brother one. At a, uh, got a knife show uh, years and years ago. Too many years that I want to remember. But... Uh, yeah, it's uh, seen some hard use by the handle there and rust overall and so some nicks and whatnot in the blade. So, you know, could have been uh, served by the, uh, the Doughboys or their counterparts in some far off land, I guess. Uh, I'm not really sure, but yeah, this is what I would consider a, uh, an actual tactical knife. Uh, it does have some markings on it, but they're so rusted over you can barely make them out. And I think that's a, uh, a proof mark there, but uh, yeah, I just kind of oil it every now and then. I don't want to try clean it up or nothing like that. I, I like the, uh, I don't know if you want to call it patina or not, well, the wood there and the light rust. I just just keep it oiled enough to uh, preserve it so it doesn't get any rust on the blade. And... and uh, yeah, so that's what I would consider my uh, favorite tactical knives. Now for my two shout-outs, I decided to do a little differently. I decided to pick one guy that actually does knife reviews and knives and some guns. And the other guy, as far as I know, he hasn't done any knife reviews, but I'm sure he has one. So uh, let's get on to the um, who I'm going to tag. So my first tag is going to an American from down south. He does a lot of uh, shooting videos. He's got some really nice short barreled revolvers. Uh, he's got some nice AR rifle. And uh, I'm sure he's got some kind of tactical knife. Uh, even if it's a hunting knife, you know, that, that counts, no problem. So, yeah, you know who you are. So, that's right, fish sticks. I want to see what kind of knives you have. Tactical, hunting knife, no, doesn't matter. Show me what you got. So my next tag is going to be to a fellow Canadian YouTuber. And uh, real quick, some Canadians think just because I live down in southern Canada that uh, we're not real Canadians because, you know, we watch American TV and if we want we can go cross-border shopping. So to prove them wrong, I'm going to do my next tag in our native Canuck. So I'm going to put up, you know, his, his channel name so when he... You know, the Americans could figure out you know, who the hell I'm talking to and uh, go check out his channel. It's a really cool channel. Uh, it's got some nice knife videos and shooting videos. So, uh, yeah, here we go. I'm going to need a little bit of uh, lubrication to uh, have been talked in Canuck in a little bit. So, uh, bear with me. All right, here we go. So, hey, uh, knife crazy creator, eh? I want to see your two tactical fucking knives, eh? Now, don't say, hey, take off, hoes, I ain't showing you shit. I do these videos all the time. Why the hell should I do one for you? But, uh, hey, I know you got some really nice knives, eh? And I showed my tactical knives. 
I didn't bother telling those Americans. I, I keep this one with me all the time to, in case the polar bears come out. Hey, you can stab the pricks, you know. Always got to have a knife with you. And uh, I got paid the other day, so I want to, I'm saving up my money to, uh, I'm going to buy, a, probably buy a new skinning knife because I think I wore this one almost down to a nub. And uh, I got to get a new one, you know, after I buy my beer and my back bacon for the week. I got a few dollars left, eh? Go down there and buy myself a new tactical knife or maybe another Lee Enfield, you know. I got a couple of them and I already got some uh, Cooey's uh, 22s, but you know, you never have enough uh, Cooey's or uh, Lee Enfield. You, know? you ain't a Canadian unless you got a, at least a couple of each. But anyways, check out the guy who's tagged me his channel if you haven't, if you haven't subscribed to him already. He's down in California, eh? Imagine that, California. It's like, I think it's summer, like, all all year round. They don't get, like, six months of dark or six months of light like we do up here, eh? As soon as you hit that border, man, it's winter up here. It's, like, black. Amazing. And we drive around in our uh, snow tires 24-7. You know, it's already uh, July, and it's over 30 degrees Celsius, which is about 90 degrees uh, American, and, you know, over 70 degree 70 percent humidity and the other day it was uh well over 90 uh, 95 100 and uh you know like 90 percent humidity but uh you know it could uh you know could be like uh, six feet of snow walk out in the morning tomorrow so you know you got to be prepared that's why i got the oh, i gotta go put the the gas line antifreeze in and uh so yeah go check out his channel because uh i talked to this guy once from uh California. He said he had the drive to see snow. Yeah, he was a professional s skateboarder. Yeah, it was almost said snowboarder, eh? But no, skateboarder. It's like a really small snowboard with wheels on it. And I guess they got lots of pavement down there. Like, they don't have just like gravel roads like we got, eh? So, um, yeah, anyways, I better get going because uh, we're going down to the rec center tonight to uh, like Trooper and Rush are headlining for Gordon Lightfoot, eh? And uh, I gotta get going and uh, you know, I gotta get in a few periods of hockey to appease Lord Stanley or else, uh, you know, he gets really pissed off, eh? So, uh, take off, hoser, eh? And have a good day.